Hey there, either holder, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, I'm reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 1. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Season 2. Hey, bye. I think that's like the only time we've seen him somehow so far, is literally the opening. Or intro. Different op- This is different. This is like the opening for Season 1. Oh, are we going to where they show in the intro? Oh, aunt. Auntie, what are you doing? That's right, because she left, uh, Gwyn? Um, Rin? Ren? Ren. I think it was Ren. She left Ren back with Vera and, who, and all that stuff, so she went off to go do her own thing. I'm curious what she's doing. The horse backs away! Oh. Wait, are they gonna be- Are they gonna be solar elves? Blaze elves? Fire elves? Cause they don't look like moon shadow elves. Uh... Is he dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> I don't care if you're like a blaze fire elf, I don't think you'll survive lava. That's two dead? Okay, that's two kill counts we've got. Oh, you're- oh. Oh, is- is- is that the sword we saw in one of the drawings at the end of one of the episodes? Hmm? So this is the wielder? She looks cool. She, right? Okay, yeah, she's got boobas. <laughs> but, uh, I like- I like her- her look. Okay, already I'm at another thing too, I'm noticing. Ooh, yeah, your your sword's not gonna work on your shield. I don't think your shield's gonna work either. Wow, her shield's holding up to it. Don't kill the don't kill the cool new character. Okay, she ran away. I was about to say you can't you can't reveal the wielder of that sword and then just have her die. Is the intro gonna be any different? But anyway, what I was saying was before I could go off track, I completely forgot about it. Definitely can already tell a difference in the frame rate and like an like the animation. Um, not the animation, the frame rate. Like the frame rate is much smoother. So instead of it having that like choppiness, stutteriness of the first season, this one already looks a lot smoother. Book two sky, chapter one, a secret and a spark. A secret and a spark. Okay, so someone's gonna have a secret and a spark. Could it be a spark of love? Or is it a literal spark? It's only been a week. Has it? It's only been a week? No, it's been like uh, maybe a couple. We left because we found something the world thought was destroyed. The egg of the dragon prince. Ezrin and I decided to take a dangerous journey across the world and carry this precious egg home to its mother in Zadia. Maybe then we can stop the war. It's been an amazing adventure. I'm even learning how to do magic. Help! Uh, sorta. Mostly, I mean, I mean, yeah, okay. No, it hasn't always been easy. In no. Fact, it's probably been the hardest thing we've ever done. <laughs> the, but, <laughs> they actually, no, they actually cut together that scene to make it look like the, like a Scooby-Doo where they run back and forth. <laughs> Fast, strong, and daring. Awesome. And daring. Hey, ha ha have you just been standing there the whole time? Oh, don't Maybe. Let me interrupt. You're writing a letter. <laughs> Oh, our stepdad. Oh, that's right. He still doesn't know that he's dead. Oh, oh. To the king. That's totally still alive. Be <laughs> the puppy barks and stuff. Don't hurt the lunar moth, please. The Zadian threat grows every day. There have been sightings of terrifying Yes, it, it looks so threatening. High up war dragons. We must take action. Oh wait, war dragons? So they no. actually have other dragons? Should wait. Humanity could face extinction if we don't work with the other four kingdoms to do something. Uh -huh. None of that matters well. Therefore, our top and only priority to find the sons, the princes. princesses. Until we do, princes, princesses. <laughs> More of the birdie! Yay! Ooh. Now that's a spread. And those with three or more legs can sit there. The balls of worms. You named her Fifi? 
She is a moon female. Oh, her. She freaking named her phoenix Fifi. <laughs> and she's a moon phoenix? I knew she was a phoenix, but I'm like, she's not red like the usual one, so maybe she's not a phoenix? Okay. Phoenix. Her name is short for Phoenix Phoenix. Really? That it's I thought it'd be like Fifi, like like F I F I, not F F literally to stand for Phoenix. You have the best that sounds like a name that freaking Callum would come up with or something. It's food up here. What's your secret? Well, my that should be something gross. Is Love is that it's all fake. What, what do you mean? You know, fake. Illusion. The delicious illusions. You're actually eating grubs. Uh, oh, you must mean grub. Like as in, wow, this is some good grub. Uh, you know what? I would just completely like wipe what she's just said from my mind and just be like, yep, this is just delicious food. It's totally not insects that I'm eating. No. Please don't Do show what they actually what like. Is eating? That bowl of worms? Oh! Thing. Never mind. None of that. Nope. 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 Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, Those I'm actually gonna be hurts. sick. Uh. Eng. No. <coughs> <coughs> uh. No. <Nah. laughs> I don't care. <sighs> This illusion pie is the best I've ever had. I would've been like, you know what? You could've just not told us. I would've just rather have remained ignorant. And the fact they were still alive when they came out of Callum's mouth after he had already <gasps> Hey, everybody. Well, you're why, did, why I feel like she ate moonberries or something? good to have two working hands again. I bet. Uh, no offense, Eva. Uh -oh. I'm taken. Slish and slash with both swords again. How'd you get up there all of a sudden? Do that thing you do when you finish a nice song and dance, you know? The bow? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought she was gonna do a curtsy. <laughs> of course she does jazz hands. Amazing. Great. Fantastic. Good. Except for the fact we just ate worms. What? Aw. Yeah. Actually, never mind. You know what? I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, it's not like I'm gonna eat this food anyways. <laughs> Let's just go. Danger's coming for us. I know it. The longer we stay here, the Don't forget the breadstick and just let it harden up and then you got weapons again. Nobody likes dark forces, which is why... Oh, that's for Darth Vader. Making use of those two hands, huh? You bet. <laughs> I, I don't blame her. We've got precious cargo to deliver. To go from thinking you lost, you're gonna lose your arm to getting it back? Unless we get the wee dragon home to his mind. Why are you guys enjoying that so much? Oh. Perhaps you could teach him? Me? Just go like this. And nah, Zim is literally a dog. All he's making sounds of are puppy, like puppy sounds. He's not even like a little bit of roars or anything. He's just like barking, yipping, and growling. I was hoping four days, Rayla. That's all we're A few more days. Not like a day or something. It's a few more. One extra day. Oh, there we go. One. You work on getting off those toes. <laughs> okay, so for some he's made a noise that didn't sound like a puppy. I can't believe I'm gonna learn magic from a real This is pretty. Mage. I like her place. I'm real. Uh, don't worry, I'm real. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, are we talking to illusion this whole time? Thousands of years ago, when Zadio Oh, this is like the Stonehenge. The OLs or Stonehenge? <gasps> oh. So it's a rune for illusion? Oh, whoa. Pretty music. But it's ruins now. What happened? Humans. The druids destroyed it themselves. Oh. When Zadio Do save it. divided in two, they decided it was safer to disable this magical place. Mm. So but humans so or someone else couldn't use it? Whose duty is to prevent humans from discovering it. Humans. What happens when humans do discover it? You just let a human. <laughs> <laughs> I would go if I were her. This is where I would troll Callum and go, yes. And then he'd be like, <laughs> "It's like, wait, I'm here. I'm a human. Wait." Interested? I'll pass. Oh, okay. It's time to buckle down. Why not? You could use down others. Flying is a natural and beautiful thing. 
Now that doesn't- I mean, isn't Zim like only like a few days old or something like that or less? Oh no, they've been there for two days, so he's only two days old? You don't need to keep doing that. I mean, what if Bates translating for you? It could be. Uh, okay? <laughs> he just rolls off. He just jumps! <laughs> he didn't even like That's try to flap. Flying, but it's a very, very good start. <laughs> Bates like if you say so. <laughs> what are you up to now, Varen? Oh, are we gonna get to see what actually happened that night? Hmm? Cause that was, that was cut pretty abruptly uh, in season one. So, and I found it very strange in how, how that was the case. So. Nobody's been in there since. We're gonna see a more vulnerable Viren. Oh wait, we're getting to see, okay. I mean, we've already seen Callum and Ezrin's mother. Like, from Callum's drawing, but not, like, an actual photo. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Is he gonna, like, f Is he gonna forge something? He's not gonna do that, is he? He's got the Emperor's seal. Or, King's seal? Nah, I-, I here I'm like, oh, maybe he's coming to Haro's uh, bedroom to like reminisce or like think of things, you know, something. And then Nah, it's just to go in there and get sneak out the the king's seal so that way he can go and forge something. And then, uh, are you gonna run across oh, Soren and longer, so um, magic Claudia? And, oh, I wanna play around with the wee dragon. <sighs> Humans. I love how freaking Rila talks to herself a lot. Like, like it's something I do, so it's like it, it's funny. I like to see a character that does that. Only the noble elf cares about keeping us all alive. Apparently, the noble elf. There's something out here. The brave I mean, elf. The daring. I mean. Something bad. Here we go. What is spider? Wait, that's a spider from before, isn't it? Hi there. It's so oh, cute. You again. See. If oh, what do I feel like this is gonna be the one that she based illusion off of? So this one's real. Fit for someone who cares. Oh. <laughs> it's like I just wanted to talk or have a friend. <laughs> and we're please welcome Fifi. Oh. Ready, Fifi. Fifi. Fifi's freaking like. <laughs> like eyes going in different directions. <laughs> Fifi, show him how it's done. I mean, that's a good example. It's easy. Yes. Easy. His wings may not even be big enough to support his body weight yet. Can you feel it? Can you feel the whoosh of the air? I think if he starts lifting you up, is when you know he's got it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Was that? Was freaking Ava like going like? I know he's not doing it. Hold up. He's amazing. Yes, yes. Okay, she's not shaking her head, but she just raises an eyebrow like, mm. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> no. At least it wasn't into a wall. You killed the dragon. Okay, I don't think him being thrown into a bush is going to kill him. Let's give him credit. He's a dragon. Oh, no. Even if you had thrown so him into stupid. a wall. Oh, no, 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 no. Ezrin, calm down. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that little <laughs> from bait. The ocean is strongest at high tide. I will say so far for the scenery in this episode, I really liked this. Uh, I'm also a sucker for nature stuff, so like seeing all the like glowing butterflies and like the trees and the all this stuff, and I'm just like, yes, I, I like this more than like the castles and things. Sky is strongest in a storm, and the moon is strongest when it's, when it's full. full. Please don't interrupt. Sorry. But yes. This is the moon nexus. Oh. It reflects the moon perfectly. Hmm. When the moon is full, its light completely fills the lake. Oh, wow. Like a tide? I love this. I love learning about magic. But I want you to teach me to do some moon magic. 
You know, maybe that may have something to do with it, though, Callum. There, you You've got those extra fingers, the little ones. Uh, what do you call them? Pinky? Pinkos. Pinkos? But I know other humans who do magic. We do not call that practice magic. Oh, dark it's magic. Atrocity. It looks like you could use some cake. It's an illusion, isn't it? It's gonna be more worms. No. No, That's don't really trust it. It's really a plate of worms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some nice old fashioned iced cream. Hmm? No! Uh, no. Worms again. <laughs> what a troll! I'm going out and patrol again. One more perimeter check. Yeah! <laughs> She's just on edge. Lots of jumping and flapping, but no flying. It's just one oh, day. Go easy on Zen. No matter how impossible it seems, we believe the baby in talk. ourselves, and we're not giving up, are we? Oh, look at that! You're unintentionally giving a pep talk to Callum. Neither am I. Yeah, you got this, Callum. What's with all the ravens slash crows in there? Crow Lord. <laughs> really, his actual name is Crow Lord. <laughs> He's not here right now. Oh. Then who are you? Oh, well, I'm I'm the crow master. So there's a crow lord and a crow master. Is there a crow apprentice? <laughs> that slight just like <laughs> eyebrow. It, it's so like <laughs> assistant crow lord. Yeah, I just got promoted. Congratulations. Are you able yeah, to goody, send goody. mail? Sure, sure, of course. Oh, um, he's forged them all. These, these seem to bear the king's seal. Yes. You have questions? <laughs> the freaking Viren man. Oh, uh, yikes. uh, the king is dead. If you, you didn't know, know, I can't send these. Hmm. I understand. Are you gonna try and bribe him, or are you gonna use dark magic? Promoted? Yes. Right. Well, let me be perfectly clear. Crow master, you will also be, you know. Um. <laughs> He's threatening to kill him. Now that I, mm, I thought you might. Varen, please tell me Crow Master like goes and snitches on him or tells somebody. Growing up, I was supposed to learn horseback riding, sword fighting, archery, battle tactics, but I was so bad. Boomerang. At well, no, I gave those up, but then I tried magic. <laughs> And it felt right. It felt like I was finally good at Hey, it's the first time we're hearing Fifi actually make a noise. And it's cute. It's something. I will learn magic. We call that piece an arcanum. Wait. Arcanum. Wait, what's an arcanum? It's Stone? like the secret of the primal. Or, or its meaning. That secret becomes a spark. The tiniest uh. possible flicker of a primal source inside you. But in so does that is Callum gonna end up waking up the arcanum in him? That spark? Mm. Enough? After all, you're only human. Well thanks. That helps a lot. And then he doesn't admit anything. He's gonna wake something up. Nah, he's gonna wake like an arc the arcanum in him. You're gonna run yourself ragged, Rayla. Yeah, dragging your feet. Oh, I like this music. Is it like a piper putting her sleep? No. All right, now nah, this music sounding sussy. <laughs> it sounds like somebody trying to put her to sleep. Could it be Claudia? Pretty music, but. Yeah. Hey, Claudia. I knew it! I knew it! Do it. No, don't you hurt Rayleigh! I, I called her Rayleigh. I was gonna say Ray Ray. No, I didn't. Eh! They hit it there! No! I no! Oh, okay, wait, wait. I don't wanna miss any of the drawings, but oh, they ended that way. Shmoes. Well, okay, I guess that's fine. We haven't really had any cliffhangers, so it's okay. One cliffhanger so far, I, th I think that I can remember. All right, so first drawing, we got Fifi, Ava, right? Ava? Eva? It was Ava. And then you got 
Zim and then bait. All the pets so far. You got unknown sun elf with sun sword. You got the photo of the family. Back when they were still happy. Got the stamp from Haro. This one is, oh my God, is this freaking what, um, is it, is it Shayla? Sheila's? Uh, not Sheila, that's freaking Australian for, <laughs> um, what's her name? The, uh, the mage, um, it's her playing against herself. <laughs> okay, well, we know that the one that's writing is the crow master, or Ex crow apprentice, now crow master, but the shadow behind him is that the crow lord? That's gonna be the that's or is it hinting to that he'll become the crow lord? I don't think so. I think that's I think that's supposed to be the shadow of the crow lord. All right, well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Okay, so my thoughts for this episode, um, it feels like it, it's funny, it, feel, it feels more like, it wasn't really a filler episode, it felt more like a break episode where it gave us a break from everything. Um, cause not a lot happened. It was more like a, a more of a explanation of how magic works in a way. Um, we also got to see kind of more into, uh, the mage or illusionist. Um... Yeah, it felt, it really did feel more like a, just a chill episode. It wasn't, it was, it, it didn't, I mean, I guess you could technically say that's probably a filler because it's not really, no, because fillers are usually stuff that, that don't supply anything to the actual plot. Whereas this did, like, it explained more further, like, that Callum being a human can't do magic, at least the normal way. Um, and that we now know that every creature, uh, that is born in a Zadia is, uh, has arcanum in them, like a spark in them, that allows them to do magic, like specific magic to a specific element. Um, so, like with bait is sun, um, Fifi is the moon, uh, you got Zim who's storm, so, and then Rayla, moon. Um, so, I really do feel that Callum's gonna wake, awaken, like, either awaken or activate an arcanum in him. I don't see him using something to create one in him. I see it being, and I don't see him maybe using like a book or something, like a primal stone or anything to do it. I feel like he is going to be like the first human that actually connects to the arcanum or the magic part of his idea and can wield it. Um, I'll tell you though, that, that the mage is exactly what I would expect for like a illusionist kind of thing. She's a, she like, Usually people, like, you see that have powers of an illusionist or whatever, usually don't go too far with... I mean, they, they'll they do pranks if they're, like, young, but, like, when they're adults, they usually don't. Uh, but she's, like, the first I've seen where it's, like, full-on, she's a troll. Where it's, like, oh, here, here's here's a here's a dessert. No, that's worms. Ah, oh, you got me. Here's a bowl of ice cream instead. And it's, like, it's more worms. It's, like, she just keeps going with it and stuff. Um, But she is, like, she seems, like, genuine and, like... You know, like, she feels bad for Callum that, oh, you know, I'm sorry that you can't perform magic, but, you know, it's the way things are. You're a human, so, oh, well. Kind of thing. Um, and then you have Zim learning how to fly. I, I honestly don't think he's going to learn for a bit. I feel like it's pro- Like, he's only, what, two, three days old? So, of course he's not going to be able to learn how to fly. That's like taking a baby bird that's just been- that's just hatched, and then within three days go, you should know how to fly. It's like, it's gonna take, I think, a few weeks at least before he can learn how to fly. That or something, you know, wouldn't surprise me if it's gonna be like some kind of situation where Zim needs to fly, either save himself or save someone else. Um, and that's when he flies and they're all like, you can fly and, and whatever. Um, it's either gonna be that or he will learn the normal route uh, through Ezrin. I, I don't know. I feel like some, it, it is gonna be something where he's gonna fly when he when he has to um yeah overall like i said uh and of course we left off with a cliffhanger where claudia and soren have found them um and now rayla's asleep and uh soren's about to stab rayla so i'm hoping uh 
either they have second thoughts or they come up with a plan instead to use Rilla as... No, because they think Rilla's holding them hostage, so... I feel like somebody's gonna come in and stop them. Maybe, maybe Callum because he was, he had fallen asleep the most recent. Um, unless maybe, uh, uh, Ava the dog, the wolf wakes up. I don't know. Some, somebody's gonna stop Soren from, from, uh, hurting or killing Rayla for sure. There's no way they kill Rayla. I know they don't kill Rayla. <laughs> you can't kill a character like her, like this soon, like ever, like preferably ever, but <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Anyway, the plot for this uh, episode was pretty uh, nice and simple and chill. Uh, characters were great as usual, especially Rilla. Love Rilla. Uh, um, animation, definitely an improvement from last season. Like, I could definitely see it just very smooth. Like, th this is what I expected for the animation for the animation for this series was like this. I didn't expect it to be like a different style. It's just smooth. So it's not this choppy, stuttery frame rate that it was in the first thing, which I understand some of you explained that it, it was, it was, uh, I think a mixture of budget and time constraint. Um, so that's understandable, but I'm glad to see that already in, it, it was like, in the, in the, like the last couple episodes of season one, I could see there was starting to be an improvement, but like in this first episode of season two, definitely just instantly like, if it stays like this quality for the rest of the series, I'm fine with that. Like, as long as it's like that smooth, smoothness, I'm good. Um, Music was good, like some of the parts I liked how the music fit more of like a... Uh, I don't know what the word for it is. It, it it felt... Hi Hal, you gonna come by to say hi to everyone? Hmm? Um... Hi, yeah, pretty girl. Hello. What element would you be? Hmm? Would you be the moon? Because you're all white? Hmm? You got a little bit of orange in you, so would you be like... Sun with some... Or no, moon with some sun? <laughs> All right, I needed to move out of the way so I could talk to everyone. Thank you, dear. All right. Um. Yeah. Anyway, the music was was good. There were parts of it that I really liked. Um. But in the overall, like, also back to animation when it comes to the backgrounds and stuff. I already said it during the episode, but definitely really loved the whole settings and the backgrounds. There were all, like a nice variety of them this time in this episode. Like to see the old mage buildings that used to be there and like that looked like the Stonehenge or whatever um and then just all of it like the backgrounds overall for this episode were just really nice and pretty um like usually like throughout the first season there were like a few like like ones that were just like really nice shots and stuff this one was like throughout the episode there were just a lot of backgrounds that just were, looked really pretty um but anyway yeah those are my thoughts for this episode I hope you enjoy this reaction if you like early access to my full on it English. If you like early ice by full and ended reactions, go join my Patreon. Link in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright, guys. See ya!